Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to look at screen door locks. A lot of people have asked how do you get the cylinder out when you don't have a key and basically there's a couple of different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you the top three. So what we're going to do here is remove the cylinder and then you can purchase another cylinder, put it back in the lock and reuse the lock. First one we're going to do is ring hole attack. This is where we go through the bottom hole of the lock and push the cam which is indicated in the top right from the um, 9 o'clock position all the way up to the 12 o'clock position. First thing we need to do is remove the handles and get them out of the way. Then we loosen the screw on the side of the lock. This allows it to have a little bit more movement and we take the handles out of the way. Now we have good access to the actual lock. Using a tool, um, here I use a piece of wire, a piece of coat hanger you can easily bend up. Um, you can also buy little spike tools and or a bent screwdriver or something along those lines and what you're doing here is fishing for that cam and uh, pushing that cam up. The lock has to be in the locked position to do this so you would push in the little triangle and the big triangle will pop out even further. As you can see now I'm fishing it all the way around getting that cam to the 12 o'clock position and once it's in the 12 o'clock position you can actually slide the cylinder straight out and then slide in your new cylinder. Second uh, method is uh, pick and stick which is basically picking the cylinder to get the cam to move from that 9 o'clock all the way up to 12 o'clock and getting it to stick up there so you can slide the cylinder out. So here we're using lock picks. Um, we don't teach you how to lock pick. It's just a very quick example of how to do it and um, once you get the key cylinder to turn that cam then goes from one position all the way up into the top of the position allowing the cylinder to slide out. You can do the same with the key as well. If you do have a key then you've got no troubles. Third method, this is a last resort, great little method, uh, back snap and crack. So you've got to you put your back into it, you've got to snap it and then you've got to crack it. Uh, basically removes the cylinder allowing you to be able to put a new cylinder into it. So we'll start off on that one, removing the cylinder screw, just giving it a bit of room to move there, moving the handles and this is a Wico, um, Wico Mark 3, you can do it on the Mark 2 and other various screen door locks as well. So just take your handles off, take them out of the way. Using two adjustable shifters here uh, you would put them on either side of the cylinder. Sorry about the camera work, not getting a very good view there. You put them on either side and then you tighten up against the cylinder so that you've got a good grip on the cylinder. Now you have to put your back into it and using your knee up against the door you would pull both towards you at the same time. This cracks the cylinder straight in half leaving the cam inside the lock. Using a pair of vice grips or your fingers you basically just rotate it and take that out. Be careful on doing this method, it is a bit of a fine art to do it properly and not distort the door. Now once all that's out of the way you can simply put your handles back. Um, you've got your main spindle that goes through first, then you put your outside handle on as you can see, then you put your inside handle on, now you've got your little snib on the inside, it goes up not down, it goes in the upwards position and then once those two are in, pos in position you tighten up your handle screws and then your lock is ready to receive the, the new cylinder. Simply tighten them all up nice and easy and then take your new cylinder also put it in the locked position as you just quickly saw me do there little triangle will pop out the big triangle that's what we call the locked position so make sure you push that the tongue will pop out to its furthest point so that's what you want before you put the cylinder in as long as you do that in the right position when you put the cylinder in and you turn it it'll actually be moving and in the right position and that's it. You can buy this cylinder from our lock shop, drlock.com.au. Go to store and just click on cylinders and you can purchase it there. If this information has been good for you, it's helped you in any way, um, help out, like, share and subscribe and give us a thumbs up if it's helped you out. Thanks for watching.